Hi, welcome to today's B tutorial. In our workshop post today, we taught you how to build a beautiful email with a lot of photos in it, like this one from End Other Stories, the e-commerce and fashion brand. Um, so we have a bunch of photos arranged here in the email that we already made. And now I'm just going to show you a few uh, tricks and tips for formatting these images. So we're going to start right up here with the logo. Um, the logo right now is the full width of the email and once we click on it we can see over in the content properties menu that this auto width button is turned on um, but what we can do is we can actually turn it off and then adjust the width of the logo um, to make it smaller which is more in line with how the original email was so this can be applied to any image that you drop in an email where you don't want it to automatically fill to the full width of your email so it's really easy again you just turn off auto width and then slide you can also change it not change it but update it so that it will be full width when it is on a mobile screen which is great great option to have Another thing you might want to do with your images, particularly when it comes to showing up on mobile devices, is hide them. Um, that might be because you don't want to use up too much of a reader's data on mobile by downloading a lot of images or recognizing that this is a lot to view on a mobile screen. You might just want to highlight three images and hide the others. So it's really easy if you want to hide an image, you could just click on it. Again, come over to the content properties menu that immediately shows up and just go to the bottom where there's this new feature called hide on mobile. So once I click that, um, this image won't show up on mobile. I'll just have my header and then we'll go right to the first text block. So if you want to see how that looks, we can always preview. And again, here's my email on a desktop, but if I click mobile, you'll see that that image is gone. And the end other stories logo also is hitting full width because we updated that. Okay, so one more trick to show you. When you have a lot of images arranged in a photo grid, like this one for instance, um, in the mobile screen these images are going to stack so that users can see them more clearly. So I think we can already see that um, if we go back to our preview and go to mobile. Yes, so we'll see the first image is full screen size and so is the next one. And so that grid formation is lost just to improve readers viewing ability on a mobile screen. But if you want to maintain this grid formation, all we need to do is again select it and come over to here where there's this new do not stack on mobile feature. So if I select that, the images won't stack and they'll maintain this grid formation that we designed for desktop on a mobile screen too. So if I go back over and preview again, here's our desktop image, and then on the mobile screen, there we go, we have the full grid. Um, so all of these features will help you customize the way your images and image grid, grids look on email on desktop or on mobile screens, and we hope you enjoy them.